with autumn just around the corner uh, this is a perfect opportunity to uh, show you how easy and delicious homemade soups really really are and I'm going to start with one of our favorite soups here at Freedom HQ which is spicy parsnip soup and it's so easy to make and so hearty and delicious you'll be wanting more I promise you so uh, without further ado let me introduce you to the ingredients organic uh, parsnips of course uh, just uh, half a kilo to three quarters of a kilo I think that's the three quarters three quarters of a kilo of uh, parsnips or kind of parsnips and then um, I'm going to show you how to make your own spices so you can toast them so we're going to use just spices which I found in the cupboard uh, we've got cumin we've got cloves fennel seeds coriander seeds cardamom pods a bit of curry powder uh, the all important uh, stock so we're using kayo uh, organic vegetable stock which is going to uh, we're going to add to the liquid uh, for the soup of course you can make your own um, vegetable stock uh, we will show you how to make it at, uh, at, a, at, a, at a future video and um, as always with um, uh, with with uh, with the base for a good soup and a good sauce uh, a good onion and we're going to add a little bit of fresh ginger as well for that added kind of spiciness and, and, uh, and warmth and of course incredibly healthy Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to prepare your own uh, spices. Uh, like I said before, you just collect um, spices from your cupboard and uh, we're going to toast uh, some cumin, cumin seeds, that is, um, and just a handful. There's no part of fast rules, just a handful, probably a teaspoon or half a teaspoon, and put it into, um, into a hot uh, wok like this. This has been uh, heating up now for some time. It's, it's not red hot, but it's quite hot uh, so you add the cumin then we've got fennel seeds same again just a small handful probably about that much uh, we've got some um, beautiful coriander seeds uh, they are quite um, uh, kind of lemony kind of citrusy flavor uh, don't want too many of them probably about that much And finally, uh, some cardamom pods, um, probably about one, two, three, four, five. It's another one for luck. Oops, six. And, ah, not finally, I forgot uh, cloves. So again, probably about this many, two, three, four, five, six. About six cloves. And what we're trying to do is, um, Heat them up so that the oils uh, are released from within the um, the spices. They're the mostly seeds, so when you heat them up, the oils and the fragrances come out, and they're easier they're easier to um, uh, to crush on the pestle and mortar, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So these uh, seeds and spices have been roasting now for probably about two minutes, and you know they're ready when you can hear them popping. And I've just heard a couple of the coriander seeds popping. Uh, which gives me a good clue and also the smell uh, if you could smell if you if the camera could smell you would be smelling what I can smell and it's absolutely gorgeous so these are ready and what we'll do is we transfer them to a um, mortar and pestle pestle and mortar uh, ready for um, ready for crushing and this is the pan that we're going to use to make the soup so it th th doesn't matter if there's a little bit of few seeds left that that will just add to the flavor I'll just put it to one side and then um, we start crushing but before we do because we've got uh, cardamom the um, uh, the outside of the cardamom is not really that edible it's, it's quite uh, fibery and chewy so what we what we need to do is we need to open the cardamom each cardamom pod and um, release the seeds that are within the pod and we'll discard we'll discard the shells because they're not that they, they don't really cook or eat very well um, maybe we can give them a hand by just gently crushing them so we can crush the, the shells and yeah just peel them and uh, empty the shells so what we're doing is we're pounding and making it as fine as fine as we possibly can so we're ready to start uh, cooking uh, a good glug of um, olive oil. We've got extra virgin, organic extra virgin olive oil, which is fantastic. 
Uh, so we'll use a, a good glug of it in our preheated um, wok. And again, don't be don't be shy. Just cover cover the base. Just pour enough to cover the base. And then we'll add the uh, first of all the onions. We'll just cook him for a, for a, for a, a minute or two, just to um, uh, soften them up a little bit. On, at the moment, they're on maximum heat. And now we're ready for the uh, ginger. Uh, we're using about this this much ginger, so it's uh, a couple of thumbs couple of thumbs of ginger and what we're going to do is we're going to grate it into straight into the onion grate it away and now you're ready for your spices so first of all our spices which we prepared earlier just pour them straight in you can add if you've got some curry powder you can add a little bit at this stage. Probably about a teaspoon and a half, maybe. Something like that. It's, it's really to your taste if, if you, uh, the more you put, the spicier it's gonna be. But, so it's really to, to, to cater for, for any anybody's taste. And now, now that the onions and the ginger and the spices are well in the way it's time for the main guest and that's the uh, parsnips which we've chopped earlier i left the skins on because they're going to be all incorporated in the soup and a lot of the goodness is within the skin uh, and about this size just uh, to to help them cook quicker and just pour them in and mix them all up make sure that they're all nicely coated Okay, so while the uh, parts are cooking, we can uh, get the liquid ready. And it's so simple, just uh, one cube of um, Kayo uh, organic stock, vegetable stock cube uh, into a Pyrex dish. And we're gonna use one litre. Uh, and that, that's probably gonna make about four or five large portions of soup. So we've already boiled the kettle and we're ready. So crumble. A cube in there, pour the water, and stir <laughs> with a fork just to dissolve the cube. Okay, so we've dissolved our uh, stock cube and we're ready to add it to our parsnips which have been cooking away nicely for about two or three minutes and now it's time to add the liquid. Just pour, pour it all in and then give it a stir. Make sure it's all incorporated and now Turn the heat down. Uh, we're on electric, so turn it up to three, so it's a simmering point. Put the lid on and leave it to cook for about 20 minutes or so until the parsnips are nice and soft. Okay, our uh, parsnips have been uh, cooking very nicely there for about 25 minutes and they're nice and soft now. You, you want them to be really soft. So we're ready to season and then we're gonna blitz them with a hand blender and literally eat it straight after that. So here we go. We've got a hand blender here. Um, <laughs> be careful because uh, it can, if you're not careful, it will uh, splash all over the place. So the idea is to um, uh, put the blender right to the bottom of the pan and just pulse. Just pulse every now, every now and again. Pulse. Basically, you're 
You're blitzing the, uh, the, 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 the parsnip and making them um, smooth. We're nearly uh, ready, uh, most blitz nearly, uh, and it's time now for um, to add a little bit of seasoning. So we're using um, our trusty black pepper. Again, you use as much or as little black pepper as you like, and our magic Himalayan pink sea salt and just give it a good old squeeze of salt and then we give it one last blitz and then we serve okay. the soup is uh, nicely blitzed but that's very important uh, even after you season it and before you season it after you season it it's very important to taste it and make sure that uh, you're happy with with what it tastes like And yeah, I think it's um, it tastes okay. Doesn't need any more seasoning. But at this stage, you can add more salt, more pepper, or if you think that it needs sweetening, because it's parsnip, you can always add uh, maybe a, a, a drop of honey. So honey always goes down well with uh, parsnips. Uh, this particular one doesn't need it. I, I, I don't think, but you can if you want to. And now we simply serve. As you can see it's quite thick we like it thick if you don't like it that thick uh, you could add some more water to make it a little bit more more uh, liquidy uh, but if you do you may need to readjust the seasoning and for the piece de resistance some beautiful delicious organic uh, white bread which uh, you can check the recipe on our YouTube channel and on our it's all good .com, website where all the details of uh, how to cook your own bread are there and just enjoy